Hey there, everyone. Pastor Tim here from the Church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. And we are in Exodus 38, wrapping up this chapter as we continue to look at the instructions and the actual building of the tabernacle. And today in verse 21, God tells us this. This is an inventory of the materials used in building the tabernacle of the covenant. The Levites compiled the figures as Moses directed. And Ithamar, son of Aaron, the priest served as recorder. Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur of the tribe of Judah, made everything just as the Lord had commanded Moses. He was assisted by Ahoyab, son of Ahisamach, the son of, of the tribe of Dan, a craftsman expert at engraving, designing, and embroidering with blue, purple, and scarlet thread on fine linen cloth. The people brought special offerings of gold totaling 2193 pounds as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. This gold was used throughout the tabernacle. The whole community of Israel gave 7,545 pounds of silver as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. This silver came from the tax collected from each man registered in the census. The tax is one becca, which is half a shekel based on the sanctuary shekel. The tax was, the tax was collected from collected from 603,550 men who had reached their 20th birthday. The hundred bases for the frames of the sanctuary walls and for the posts supporting the inner curtain required 7,500 pounds of silver and about 75 pounds for each base. The remaining 45 pounds of silver was used to make hooks and rings to overlay the tops of the posts. The people also brought as special offerings, 5,310 pounds of bronze, which was used for casting the basis for the posts at the entrance to the tabernacle and for the bronze altar with its bronze grating and all the altar utensils. Bronze was also used to make the basis for the posts that supported the curtains around the courtyard. The basis for the curtain at the entrance of the courtyard and all the tent pegs for the tabernacle and the courtyard. So, this is the wrap up of what was used to build the tabernacle. And the message today is very simple. We see in this passage, materials and people all being used for the glory of God. The simple message is this, whatever God has gifted us with, whether it be a talent or resources, we should be willing to understand that there's no greater cause than to use those talents or those resources for the cause of Christ. Jesus willingly gave up everything for us. We often say that salvation requires nothing on our part, and that is true because Jesus took care of that. But being a follower of Christ, I wanna be very clear about this, does require something. It requires that we take up our cross daily and follow him. We deny ourselves and we give everything that we have, our gifts, our talents, our abilities, our resources, whatever God has gifted us with, little or small, for the cause of Christ. So my challenge for us today is very simple. Use what God has given you for his glory by promoting the cause of Christ. Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, that you did everything for us. But Lord, help us to realize that while salvation is free to us because of that, there is a cost to serving you, to being a follower of Christ. Help us to take up that charge each and every day, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, with that in mind, have a marvelous and wonderful Tuesday. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. May God bless you.